So don't mind the mess. I'm doing some testing on the Omtec Polar, but I wanted to address a question that has been asked quite a bit, and that's whether or not the Omtec Polar's laser tube is serviceable by the customer. And the answer is, yes, it is. So it's not like the Glowforge where you have to send the entire unit in for repair if it goes down. The customer should be able to replace the laser tube on the Omtec Polar with general ease. So this is how you do it. You have a shield that covers the laser tube itself and it's held in by four screws. You got one here, one on the back side, one here, and another on the back side. And then if you look under the shield, you have the laser tube mounts. Okay, so you got one right here and then one on the opposite side. And then once you get the tube mounted, it's just a matter of attaching the wiring leads. So you got the red wire, which is your high voltage, and there's a screw right here that it gets mounted to the tube. This red insulator is a silicone boot that helps protect against arcing from your high voltage line against the body of your laser. On the opposite side, you have your black wire, which is screwed into the head of the laser in a similar fashion to the red line. And then you just attach your water lines. The laser beam will travel through this channel, bounce off some mirrors, and then go through the semi-transparent mirror here, and then go directly to your mirror right there and down to your lens and allows you to cut and engrave. So that's all there really is to it. I did confirm with Omtech that they will start carrying the Polar laser tube on their website. So if it ever does go out outside of warranty, you'll have a place to purchase it. But I do also want to point this out. The tube is made from a manufacturer called YL or Yang Li. The model number is a T10. And another question that might come up is, can I replace the stock laser tube with another branded 50 watt laser tube? And my answer or recommendation would be to stick with Yang Li's tube. The reason being is some of the other 50 watt laser tubes, they have different wiring setups where you actually have to splice the wires rather than screw them in to the rear of the laser or the head of the laser. Another thing to look out for is the actual diameter of the tube and then the length. So if it doesn't fit the mounts and it doesn't fit the body and it doesn't fit the leads, then you probably don't want to get that laser tube. So sticking with the Yang Li brand that Omtech's gonna sell on their website very soon will ensure that you have proper fitment. So long story short, can the customer replace the Omtech Polar's laser tube? Yes, you can. And it's been confirmed by Omtech. So if you found this video helpful, please do me a favor, just like it. Um, if you feel inclined, subscribe and then be on the lookout for future videos.